Hi, it's Andy again. Uh, today I got a tutorial for you about how to use uh, activity for result. Um, we're going to use an intent to change the image's picture. Uh, right now this is an image button and when you select it, it prompts you to choose a picture from the gallery. And then when you select it, it actually loads that image. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. Uh, but it's a simplified version for, of it as this only works with um, selecting an item that's already on the external or internal storage from the gallery. Um, you can also do this to um, take something from uh, from the camera. So to load the camera app and take an active picture and then whatever that picture is loaded on there as well. So let's show you the code. And I'm doing this in a different format so for Give me. I took a suggestion from one of the one of the viewers to see if this is going to be easier for you to see the the, the code on lower res. Uh, basically, we have an image button, which is the one that we click to load the new image. Uh, we have oh for the layout, it's just an image button uh, setting the width and uh, height to match the parent and setting the um, default source of the button to uh, the application icon. So right now we have your on create. This is, since we're using an activity, you can do this in a fragment as well. Um, that's what I'm going to be using it in another app that I'm I'm making right now. Uh, the only thing you would change is uh, actually you wouldn't change anything. This is fine. You just get your view here and then that's it. So and put it in the on activity created um, method. So we got a button. We are going to call it and say we'll find that button. I gave it the name of image button. We're going to set an on click listener and then on that on click we're going to start a new intent with the action pick and we're going to be loading um, the media store images media external content. This is what loads up the, the gallery, so this specific one. There's other ones that you can load up as well. And then we have this int res, uh, result load image, which is the request code you'll see down here. <clears throat> so we're going to start the activity for result, call the intent, which I've named I, and we're going to need the request code. So down here we have our on activity for result. We have a request code, a result code, and then the data. And uh, th what makes this important is if your re request code is results load image. So you can have different intents uh, in an activity um, with different um, request codes. So th since we gave this in the ID of result load image, we have request code is results load image. The result code is going to be OK, which is going to be the OK button or actually selecting the image. And then if that um, the data does not equal null, so if we actually selected something, we're going to now do the following. We're going to give the selected image um, a URI, and that's going to be whatever the data is. So that this can't be null. Uh, if we were to change this to to null, then you get a little warning that says, "Hey, this can't be null. This isn't. This doesn't make any sense." So that's good. Next thing, we're gonna have a string um, uh, object of the file path common column, and this is gonna be uh, whatever the the data is that we're selecting from from the gallery. We have a cursor that's gonna query the selected image. Um, and get the, the file path column which is a string and we're not actually using these other parts of cursor uh, so those are going to be null and then we're going to call uh, we're going to say that there's an int column index we're going to set it to zero or we're going to choose the, the first item that's selected in this file path column um, then we're going to give that the the image path um, uh, we're going to assign it a string 
and uh, we're gonna get that string and put it into this this um, into this uh, sorry we're gonna put it in in picture path and then we're gonna recall that in uh, our we're gonna set the the button to display that image so we have button which is an image button if you're using an image view you can change this to image view uh, whatever you, you you call that we're gonna set the bitmap we're gonna use bitmap factory to decode the file um, now there is a limitation on the file size that you can do for bitmap factory so this may not be the best option for you if you're going to be dealing with a larger picture but uh, this works for the smaller picture that that's in the example and we're going to set that to picture path now one thing this example does not do this does not save the the, the picture so if we were to run this app, run this app again oh, I had changed the so if we run this app again you'll notice that it doesn't save when we relaunch it so we select it however if we close out of it and relaunch it it also gives us the default now this would be a good place for you to use shared preferences that's how I'm using it um, to actually store the the string of the picture so that when the launch when the app launches it calls that the path to the new um, to the to that image so it, it saves it in into memory so it knows whenever I launch this I want to pull up that string of whatever picture path is okay so uh, if you need an example on how to do that I can show you but it's it's pretty simple uh, just look over my shared preferences um, tutorial with the quiz app and you can pretty much change the get int to get string and set int to set string and you'll put that in in the the two two areas over here so you would put um, right here in uh, and this you would set the the integer uh, to get whatever item in it, it you have in there. So or the the string to your shared preferences string. Okay. Uh, so I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.